Good afternoon, everyone. So as you've probably noticed by now, uh, computers are everywhere. They're everywhere on campus, outside campus. Uh, you know, outside of computer science, computer programming has permeated pretty much every academic field uh, around us. So uh, from the hard sciences to the soft sciences, even the humanities. And I study the mind, brain, and behavior, and certainly this is no exception to that rule. So what is programming? What is computer programming? Well, simply put, uh, I think of computer programming as a way for us to express our ideas to computers. I know that many of you are probably uh, not very familiar with the concept, uh, but I want to I convince you all that uh, you are already programmers, believe it or not. Uh, one of the most interesting ideas that started the so-called cognitive revolution after the Second World War was this very idea that brains process information just like computers do. So in a sense, your every idea, thought, or action in the world reflect some routines uh, that run on a special hardware, namely a brain. Uh, I am Thomas Sir, I'm a Manning Assistant Professor in CLIPS. Um, introduction to Programming for the Mind, Brain and Behavior uh, will provide an introduction to the MATLAB programming language, uh, which is one of the, I would say, leading uh, <coughs> scientific programming language. So just to be upfront, the idea here is that uh, the course is geared for students who have no programming background or very little uh, programming background. The goal of the course is to teach you everything you need to become an accomplished programmer. Uh, so if you are a brain science student, this will allow you to be or to become to move from being an apprentice brain scientist to a, what I would call a rock star. Uh, you'll be able to uh, implement and run your own experiments and run subjects on those. Uh, you'll be able to uh, run powerful uh, data analysis, very sophisticated analysis on all kinds of data. If you're not a brain science student, I think there's still a lot to gain from the course. So beyond teaching you how to code or program, uh, a major aspect of the course is to um, support the development of you as a computational thinker. So what is computational thinking? Computational thinking is a concept borrowed from computer science, and this is a way for us to solve problems uh, to design systems and to understand human behavior. Uh, this is a critical way by which we can understand how technology may affect every one of us. And I think we all agree that this is a very important skill to gain to flourish in modern societies. Uh, right, so I'm sure many of you probably think that uh, programming is outside of their uh, uh, ability. And I just want to tell you from the get go that this is just gibberish. So learning to program is pretty much like many other things you have to learn in real life. And I think one good example is learning to cook. So what become, becoming a master chef entails is learning a few, maybe 20, 25 basic techniques. Uh, and then once you've learned or master those techniques, uh, you can reorder you know, different steps, uh, use those uh, techniques on novel ing different ingredients, and from that you get novel recipes. And programming is a lot like this. Uh, we're going to learn a few key concepts, maybe a handful of them. We're going to learn uh, maybe a dozen or so computer commands. Once you master those commands, you'll be able to handle computers with completely novel capabilities. Okay. So I think the most interesting aspect of this course, and one of the major goals of this course, is to have fun. We'll have fun by working with all kinds of data, experimental data, uh, big data, small data, uh, and we'll play with robots. Uh, my eight-year-old daughter is learning to program using her robots, and I want you to I want you to understand that if she can do that, all of you can. Okay. So why winter session? I think learning to program is a little bit like learning a foreign language. Uh, this is something that we should have started very early on, and most of us haven't. One way by which we can uh, learn foreign languages, and the best way to learn foreign languages, is via immersion, total immersion. And I think of this winter course as an, an opportunity to get just that. We'll be able to spend long hours, uh, many days of the week, uh, for a full month, and with little distraction from other courses that would you know, take up some of your time. So the course will start, it will run from January 4th to January 23rd. Uh, there will be a little bit of uh, preparatory work. Uh, I think this will be fun, should be fun. Uh, the idea is to give you a visual programming language called Scratch. And this is going to give you a gentle introduction, if you will, to some of the key concepts uh, that, we'll, uh, that we'll need uh, later on during the, the, the course of the, the session. 
Um, the course will meet three times a week. Uh, for most of the days, uh, we will blend lectures, uh, group exercises on the whiteboard, and programming apps. In between the meeting times, uh, you guys will be working in groups towards programming language, uh, towards, excuse me, programming assignments, real world programming assignments. Uh, the course will culminate with a hackathon, uh, which will be an opportunity to celebrate all of your uh, great achievements and, and, and to convince every one of you that uh, you are now full hackers and real programmers. So that's all I have. Um, I hope to see uh, many of you uh, in January. Thank you.